Hey folks, your old buddy Michael here, and so glad that you decided to join me today. I've got another Pro Wrestling Memorabilia monthly recap video for you today. Uh, this is all of the uh, things that I was able to pick up during the month of February 2021 for my wrestling collection. Now, you all know I'm a big-time wrestling fan, been collecting for over 30 years. And uh, I enjoy making these videos, and there's a few of you that will actually uh, stick around long enough to watch some of it. Now, it's not the most popular series here on the channel, but I do enjoy making the videos. And like I said, there's a few of you that enjoy watching them. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started and, and start off with something a little bit different this time. I was able to pick up uh, several figures during the month of February. I've got three here, uh, and I didn't think about showing figures off on here uh, to start with, but... Anyway, I'm going to, uh, this time, just because I've got them here handy. At Walmart, they finally, uh, in my area, put out the WrestleMania, the big WrestleMania displays, the, the end caps and so forth. And actually, Miss Jacqueline was able to pick up uh, a Undertaker Collector's Edition. You see it says Collector's Edition up the top. I've missed several of these, but uh, she was able to find one of these in uh, uh, mint condition, so uh, was able to add that to the collection. Also, uh, kind of a, a local favorite in my part of the uh, of the world, it's got to be Kane, they say. Decade of Domination Kane with all the accessories, the mask, the burnt face, and so forth. Um, but anyway, uh, of course, he is the mayor of Knox County down there in Knoxville, Tennessee, not too far from me. Then I may have to raise the uh, camera up for this. She was also able to find the uh, Randy Savage WrestleMania cart. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what the uh, the uh, the name of this figure line is, but I know there's Randy Savage and Andre the Giant uh, in this uh, series here. And uh, so she was able to get this. Andre was already gone. Uh, and apparently in that display, there's a spot for two each of those of those figures there. So I was able to get Randy Savage. Thanks to Miss J. I appreciate that. All right, now, we've got several magazines to show you. We've got several uh, trading cards to show you. I'm not going to waste a lot of time. I'm going to go straight through. Uh, I think I can remember what I paid for some of these. Some of these I may not. Uh, but anyway, you all know I'm building the, uh, the Leaf trading cards. Uh, wrestling card sets, and then I'm also building the TriStar Productions TNA uh, trading card sets as far as autograph cards. So when I say build it, it's impossible to build a complete set, uh, especially with limited uh, resources and so forth. So uh, I, I pick up what I'm able to. So this is what I got as far as a TNA in that one package. This is a, a dual signed Pope D'Angelo, De Niro, and Orlando Jordan for the uh, New Era uh, card set. You know, I love my new era. I'm sorry about the glare, but it's in a uh, it's in a bag. And then also was able to pick up a Chris Sabin Next Generation, uh, and this is for the uh, TNA Icon set. I almost have the complete set. Uh, this is actually a subset in the Icons uh, series, and I almost have a complete set of that. I think there's 12 names in that. So anyway, was able to pick those two cards up from the same seller. I think uh, Chris Saban was uh, seven, and the dual signed was uh, right at ten ish. I think. All right, Miss J picked me up some cards for uh, Valentine's Day, and uh, she's so good to me. And uh, she knows uh, again the new era, so she picked up a single new era Orlando Jordan. She also picked up a Mr. Kennedy. Well, Mr. Anderson in TNA, but uh, we know he was Mr. Kennedy in the WWE, but uh, picked up that card. I love his signatures. He signs his last name twice, just as he would announce it. Also got the uh, Charmel for the very first uh, TNA trading card line that came out. Uh, so glad to add those to the collection. She also got me uh, some leaf cards as well, and I've got those right here. Picked up a Brutus the Barber Beefcake. This was an Amazon purchase, and um, I think this was like uh, probably 20 bucks on Amazon. You know Amazon prices. So this is from 2012 here for the 2012 uh, original set. This is one that uh, Miss J got me. She got me old Simply Sensational Al Snow uh, with his mannequin head there. That's for the 2014 set. Uh, and she also got me the big old ugly barbarian. I love the barbarian. I was a big fan of his, uh, and still am. He still wrestles, I believe, on occasions uh, when they are actually having some wrestling matches. This is from the 2020 uh, Ultimate Wrestling set. I was able to pick up Carlito 
for uh, 15 uh, I think $16 on Amazon. This is for the 2016 set, numbered to 50 there, if it'll focus. And then uh, also picked up the Raging Bull Manny Fernandez, and that's numbered to 25 and that's from the Ultimate set as well. So those are my trading card purchases and gifts, I guess you could say, for the month of February. And I'm, I've got to get these put in the binder and do a... Uh, I like to total up and see how many cards I have for each set. Uh, that, that, that's fun for me, okay? All right, magazine time. Uh, I waited a long time to get this magazine in. I originally got it in, and it was severely damaged by no fault of the seller. And uh, uh, luckily, he had another one in pristine condition as well. And it was, it's always been my number one magazine want. No, it's not a sports review wrestling magazine. It is the Pro Wrestling Illustrated December 1988 magazine with my favorite grouping of the four horsemen. And folks, if you all saw AEW Dynamite this past Wednesday, you saw Tully Blanchard make his in-ring return after a long time. And then... I didn't know J.J. Dillon was going to be there. So talk about a, a, a big-time marking-out session for me. I thought it was great. But anyway, pick this magazine up. This was a $15 magazine, folks. And I, 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 if it had cost $25, I'd have probably paid for it in the condition. I always go ahead and bag and board my magazines, folks. Uh, some of them don't come that way, but um, I try to do that to, to make sure they stay uh, in as nice a condition as they possibly can. Okay. And you know that I'm building the Sports Review Wrestling uh, set uh, from 1972 to 1995. There was 250-ish. I don't know the exact start and finish date as far as magazines go for this series, but I'm trying to build this set. So I picked up two more here. This is January 1983. Got Wildfire Tommy Rich on the uh, cover there. Also Wahoo McDaniel. And also, how can you go wrong with a Ric Flair and Harley Race cover? This is from February 1983. So, January and February of 83, picked up those magazines from the same seller. And, uh, I, and I, he's the, actually the same guy that I got the Pro Wrestling Illustrated magazine from as well. He has a lot of magazines. I think those magazines are called Dead Stock because they never touched... Uh, uh, shelves and stores and so forth and somehow or another he came across a great big bunch of them and normally his magazines excuse me are in an immaculate condition and that's why I buy from him all the time okay I did pick up three more sports review wrestling magazines this one is from uh, July 1991 with the total package Lex Luger on the cover there his only future is a bad future that don't sound too good for old Luger there all right, we also got uh, October 1991 with Hulk Hogan on the cover and one half of the Rock and Roll Express, Robert Gibson. And then I picked up uh, December 91 with Hogan and Sid Justice, not Sid Vicious this time, Sid Justice on the cover and Flying Brian up there in the corner. So again, uh, added five of these magazines to my collection for this month and... Um, or for the month of February. I haven't bought anything for the month of uh, March yet. I know we're just barely into it, but uh, trust me, that's going to change. Probably, I'm recording this on Friday, so probably this weekend. Now, the find of the month, and to me, I don't know what all I will be able to acquire between now and the end of the year, but this may end up being the find of the year for me. Uh, I also collect wrestling programs. And what I mean by programs, some of you guys may not know, they are the... Uh, arena event programs that you would buy at the door uh, you know when you come to the matches and so forth and uh, searching around on eBay at work one day during lunch and found a lot of three Midwest territorial wrestling programs right there this is a group that ran Michigan primarily Taylor Michigan uh, in the mid 90s for t uh, not even two years I think they ran 27 or 29 events total, and that's it. And then they 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 closed up. Uh, well, during the time that this promotion was in operation, they ran a weekend deal with two teams that I am very familiar with, and that is the Rock and Roll Express and Jim Cornette's Heavenly Bodies. And folks, 
uh, I jumped on this. As you can see, the tag team feud that could, uh, couldn't confine to the Smoky Mountains. This was actually Smoky Mountain tag team title match between these two. They worked a weekend with them, Friday night and Saturday night, and I think they swapped the belts uh, each night. So uh, I had to grab this. Okay, I, I absolutely could not pass this up. You can see this is from February 18th, 1994. Uh, in Port Huron, Michigan, and you see the uh, the main event there was the Heavenly Bodies with Jim Cornette against Ricky and Robert. So uh, had to uh, had to grab a hold of of this. There's Scott D. Amore. If you watch Impact Wrestling, you know he's the uh, uh, executive vice president, or he's got some management title with Impact. I love Impact Wrestling, by the way. Uh, but anyway, picked up uh, three of these programs. This one's actually signed by Cactus Jack. Look at that staple in that. Yeah. Let me show you what it is, though. It's it, it's perfectly fine with me. They stapled this in the program. This is a coupon where you could put it in a box, and they, if they draw your name out, you could be a guest ring announcer for that night. And then also there's a, a, a dollar coupon off tickets for the next show. And then there was your giveaway coupon uh, ticket that they would do uh, raffles with at night. So when I saw the staple, I thought, oh, my God. And then when I seen what it was, no, perfectly fine because this is exactly how the program was sold in the arena or in the building that night. You can see here, Cactus Jack, Two Cold Scorpio, Al Snow. So, uh, you know, they brought some names in. And here's Sabu on the cover of this other one here. And uh, the uh, lineup sheet is in, on the inside of this as well. They brought in, folks, they brought in Doink the Clown for this show, The Missing Link, and so forth. So, uh, I'll tell you right now, I paid $26 shipped from Canada for these three programs, and I would have paid $26 shipped for this one program alone because Smoky Mountain Wrestling has been my home territory, my home promotion. I live in the town that it was uh, founded in, and uh, anything I can find Smoky Mountain Wrestling that I can afford, I will grab a hold of. So, it might not have Smoky Mountain at the bottom. It's got Midwest Territorial Wrestling, but by gosh, those belts were defended right there on that show. So, uh, glad to add those to the collection and like I said I don't know what I'll find the rest of the year sometimes I luck out and really hit some uh, gold mines but uh, uh, these programs here are going to, uh, to to rank right up there at top of the line maybe number one fine for the year for me all right Folks, leave me a comment. Let me know. Man, I've almost went uh, 13 minutes. Tell me what you thought about uh, what I was able to pick up, what Miss J, Miss Jacqueline, Miss Miss Joslyn, what she picked up for me in the month of February. Uh, love to respond to your comments. Hit subscribe if you're a wrestling fan. I try to put one of these videos up every month and show you what I got in. Uh, and, uh, you know, hit that thumbs up button if you like. Uh, like the content for today. Folks, that will be the only video for this week. I'm going to take this coming Thursday off, and I'll have two more videos for you next week, okay? So just give me a heads up. This is all, uh, all she wrote for me this week. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Enjoyed making the video for you, and we'll talk to you later. See ya!